Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you all are doing well. I'm Kajuju, and I'll be showing you how to run Tiny Tina's Wonderland on the Steam Deck through the Heroic Games launcher. I saw PCGaming.it got the game to work through Lutris, so I'll leave a link in the description to his video where he has a comment addressing how he got the game to run. This video is specifically for the Heroic Games launcher. I spent a lot of hours researching what the issue was and how to fix it, so I hope this video helps you. Timestamps will be provided to help you with your specific issue, so be sure to check that out, but I have highly recommend you address the issues in the order I have them in this video to ensure you'll be able to play the game. First and most annoying issue to face was being unable to get past the title screen login for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Now this issue seems to mostly plague Linux users in general since I got the idea from ProtonDB from someone who's not even using the Steam Deck. So once you have the Steam Deck loaded go straight into desktop mode. I'll tell you this right now that you will not get the game to run in gaming mode. Once you're at your desktop, open up Steam and click on Steam on the top left corner of the Steam application. Go into settings and you're going to go down to controls. Then select desktop configuration. Steam's controller config will come up and you will want to press X to import a controller layout. We will be importing the gamepad with mouse trackpad. I'm going to modify the right trackpad for it to act as a left click since that is what I prefer. I also would suggest binding two of the back pedals to Alt and Tab so you can switch between the game and other applications if needed. It will save automatically, so just back out by hitting B on your controller. Next, go into your library and you should already have Heroic Games Launcher added as a non-Steam game. Launch it and it should open up. Go into Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, go into Settings and make sure you are on Proton 7 to avoid the DirectX 12 error. Proton Experimental works as well. So launch the game and just wait out the madness you will see. The rainbow you're seeing is just a placeholder for broken media files, which for this game are the in-game movies. But don't worry, we will fix it by the end of this video. Once that all finishes loading, you'll see the Tiny Tina's Wonderlands title screen. This is where most people end up getting stumped. But at this point, a window should open up in your browser and it will be the game asking permission from Epic to allow this device to play the game. Scroll down and click allow and switch back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands where it should start logging you in. Do not close the game yet. You have one very important step to do once you make it to the main menu which addresses the second issue so while in the game make sure to go into your settings and change DirectX 12 to DirectX 11 this will fix your issue when running the game on Proton GE 7-10 so make sure the settings have been saved and you can exit out the game to fix the final issue so as you saw earlier in the video we had a placeholder in our in-game movie the fix for this is simple go into wine manager on the hero games launcher and scroll down to you find Proton GE 7-10. Download that and once it is finished you can go into the settings for Tiny Tina's Wonderland and select what we have just installed which is Proton GE 7-10. You can now just launch the game and you'll see that the placeholders are gone. Now the worst part about this, the game will always ask you for permission as a security every time you open up this game. This is something that seems to be an issue with Linux users in general, which is quite unfortunate. If you don't get the browser window asking for permission, I found that restarting your Steam Deck will reset the process and make it show up. So hopefully that works for you. One huge issue you will find is that the on-screen keyboard for Steam will not show up above the game. It shows up but hides behind the game. So that is something I will be trying to find a solution to, but if anyone else finds one, then feel free to share in the comments section. Earlier in the video, we changed the controls for desktop configuration instead of the specific controls for the Heroic Games launcher. The reason for that is because Steam will not recognize the game is open and will keep using the desktop configuration instead of the controller layout for Heroic Games launcher like in gaming mode. But by selecting the gamepad with mouse trackpad, we are able to use our gamepad controls as expected. So make sure to switch back to your preferred desktop controls after you are done or just learn to live with the gamepad with mouse trackpad. Now this is overly complicated and absolutely mad madness, but I hope this video has helped you get it working on the Heroic Games launcher. I will be doing a deck check on this game once I spend some time on it, so keep an eye out for that. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and until then, I will see you all later. Goodbye!